hear or think about the possibility of earthquakes, the, our ears kind of perk up, right? But what's happening now is something that happened back in 2018, and it's been happening for hundreds of years. It is called a slow slip event. And experts at PNSN say this happens every 14 months or so. Uh, they've been tracking it for two decades, ever since the Nisqually quake. But basically what's happening is this. Think of the Earth as large puzzle pieces. The land that we're on right now is called the North American plate. Now there is another plate off Shore called the Juan de Fuca plate. Well, experts say the offshore plate, which is the Juan de Fuca plate, as I mentioned, is trying to go underneath us. Now, usually the plates are locked, but sometimes they slip slowly. The concern for some seismologists, though, is that friction could increase the chances of earthquakes in general. Well, we talked to PNSN about that. There is sort of some scientific interest in the possibility that maybe um, it slightly increases the probability of an earthquake happening. The jury's very much still out on that. We don't know. I would say nobody should worry that this means an earthquake is imminent. Um, there's probably a small change in the likelihood of a subduction earthquake, you know, during a time like this. So Harold, Harold Tobin, who you just heard from, says the movement between the plates is very deep underneath us, so it is unlikely that we will feel anything. That being said, though, there is a difference in opinion when it comes to this event. I got an email from another PNSN seismologist, Bill Steele, and he told me we have an increased chance of a big earthquake initiation because the slip is adding load to the bottom edge of the fully locked zone of the Cascadia Fault. Now, that is the big fault that scientists all agree could cause the big quake. But he also says that there have been several of these slow slip events that didn't cause a big earthquake over the past 300 years. Nonetheless, what scientists can agree on is that people should always be prepared. That includes putting together emergency kits just in case. Back to you. We'll do tonight.